Today we're sewing a pair of comfortable, versatile, elastic waist pants. This is Butterick 6865. Depending on the fabric that you choose, you can dress up these pants to get a look similar to that of the pattern cover, or you could use more casual material to get more of a loungewear look. In this video, I'm using a double-sided fabric with sweatshirt knit on the outside and a velour on the inside. For all of the main seams, I'm using a zigzag stitch with a width of 0.5 and a length of 2.5. In this video, I'm making view B with front pockets and elastic casings in the waistband. At the end of the video, I give instructions to hem the bottom of the pants like view A, but as an afterthought, I ended up adding the elastic to the bottom of the pant legs like view B. All you have to do if you'd like to add elastic to your waistband is leave a gap in your stitching when you hem your pants so that you can insert the elastic and then go ahead and stitch that opening closed. I hope you join me in making this comfortable pair of pants. Let's get started. Place your pocket and the corresponding front pant piece right sides together, matching the slanted pocket edge and pin in place. And do this for both sets of pockets and front pant pieces. And then sew both of those slanted edges with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Then I'll trim my seam allowances by about half. And then we'll turn the pocket over the seam allowance to the inside of the pant. And give those slanted seams a good press. And then top stitch those pocket edges with a quarter inch seam allowance repeating for both pockets. Place your side front piece and your pocket right sides together, matching the curved edges and the notches and pin in place. And repeating for the opposite front pant leg. And then we're going to sew that side front and pocket piece together along the curved edge with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Note that we're only stitching those two pieces together and not stitching through the front leg piece. Repeat for both front pant pockets. And once the pockets are sewn, finish the raw edges in your preferred method. Then I'll pin the pockets to the pants along the side and top edges. Doing this for both pockets. Base the pocket to the pants along the side and top edges with about a 3 8 inch seam allowance for both pant legs. Along your front pant pattern piece, you have lines indicating a stitching line for the top stitching of the pocket. Transfer this curved stitching line to the right side of both of your front pant pieces. I've transferred that stitching line here faintly with chalk. Now I'm going to place a few pins in here to keep everything in place. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew with a regular straight stitch through all thicknesses along the stitching line, again repeating for both front pant legs. Place a corresponding front and back pant leg right sides together and pin together along the inner leg seam, repeating for both sets of pant legs. Sew both inseams with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then finish the raw edges. Now we'll open out these sets of front and back pieces along the inseam and place both sets of pant legs right sides together along the crotch curve. And then pin them together along the crotch curve matching your notches and your seam. Sew this curved seam with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and finish the raw edges. Now that the crotch curve is sewn, we're going to open out these pieces so that we have front and back facing each other. And now that I have one front and one back piece right sides together, I can pin the side seam. Doing this on both sides. Then we can sew our side seams from the top 
to the bottom with a 5 8 inch seam allowance repeating on both sides, then finishing your raw edges. Here is the wrong side of my front casing piece and I'm going to take it to the ironing board and apply interfacing at the markings where the buttonholes are going to be sewn. I'm just going to be using scrap pieces of interfacing. Now I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew those tiny buttonholes at the markings. And open up those buttonholes. Now place the front and back casing pieces right sides together and pin along the side seams. We're going to sew the right side seam as worn from top to bottom with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. For the left side seam, we're going to be leaving a gap in our stitching between the dots marked from your pattern piece. I'm going to place pins at those dots. Then we'll sew this left side seam as worn from the top to the dot, back stitching to secure, then starting a fresh set of stitches at the next dot, back stitching to secure to the bottom of that side seam. Once the side seams are sewn, press them open, and then we're going to fold and press the waistband in half wrong sides together. Now we can attach the casing to the top of the pants, making sure that your buttonholes and the top of the pants are right sides together. And make sure that the opening that you left in your stitches on the waistband is facing you. And pin all the way around. Now I'm going to sew the casing to the top of the pants all the way around with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then finish the raw edges. Now we can flip our waistband upward and press that seam allowance down toward the bottom of the pant. Now to form the individual casings for our elastic, we're going to sew two rows of top stitching all around the waistband. The first row of top stitching will be 5 8 of an inch away from that top fold all the way around, and the second row of top stitching will be 5 8 of an inch above this waistband seam, again stitching all the way around. And you can use a regular straight stitch here. I've cut two pieces of half inch wide elastic to the length of my waist plus one inch. So my waist measurement is 25 inches and I've cut my elastic to a length of 26 inches. Now here is the inside of my waistband at the openings that we left in our stitching. I'm going to place a safety pin to one short edge of the elastic and draw the elastic through the topmost casing. Once the elastic comes out the other side, overlap the edges by about half of an inch and pin in place. And then take it to your sewing machine and stitch back and forth a few times to secure. And then you can pull that elastic entirely into the casing. Repeat all of those steps to lace your remaining elastic through the bottommost casing opening. And then sew those elastic ends together and then you can pull this elastic through the casing. And slip stitch close those gaps in the waistline stitching. Then you can take your lace or cording and draw it through the center casing through your buttonholes. To hem the bottoms of both pant legs you can finish the edges all the way around and turn those bottom edges to the wrong side by one and a quarter inches. Then edge stitch close to those finished edges all the way around and repeat for your opposite pant leg. And now your pants are complete. Thank you for watching this sew along. Make sure you check out the rest of my video library for more great sewing tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.